Hey everybody, my name is Sedu Raman and this is the first of many videos where we discuss, explain and talk about Web3 stuff. Since this is my first video, I want to take it all the way back to the basics and help you understand the fundamental idea behind distributed data storage. Now, by definition, distributed data storage means storing data across multiple systems or machines. So what's the point of this? I mean, why do we store the same data across different servers or nodes? To truly understand the benefit of keeping data distributed, take an example of a classroom. Now, this is not a regular classroom. Here, imagine that only a single straight A student takes down the notes for the entire class. Only that student owns a notebook in that class and that single notebook contains all the notes or information for the rest of the class. Now, this might seem pretty convenient at first, but imagine a situation where that kid takes a leave. Or imagine if he can't find that notebook. Or think of a scenario where a class test is coming and everybody in that classroom wants to access that same notebook. You see, in all these situations, the data is either lost or inaccessible and the reason for this predicament is because the entire class relied on that single student and his notebook for the processing and storage of information. And if something happens to that notebook or the student, the entire information is lost. Now, take our regular classroom. You know, all the students have a notebook and hopefully all of them takes down the notes. In a regular classroom, you can see that the same data is kept distributed across multiple notebooks and in such a situation, even if one of those kids were to take a leave, the entire class is not affected. Even if something were to happen to a student's notebook, he can always buy a new one and copy the notes from someone else. All this is possible because in a regular classroom, everybody has a copy of the same data. Even during the time of a test, there are no issues because everybody has access to that same data. You see where I'm going with this, right? Keeping the data distributed helps eliminate any single point of failure in a network and it makes the data more secure and available. Now, going back to our classroom example, one can argue that the whole one student writes all notes method is faster. I mean, you're not wrong. It takes time for a class of 20 to 30 students to completely sync up. And it is also easier for the teacher to manage a single notebook rather than a bunch of them. But when you consider the overall accessibility, availability and security of data, keeping it distributed seems like a pretty neat option. Now, if you replace the students and the notebooks with servers and databases, then you are entering the realm of data storage systems and the whole student taking a leave or class test scenario can be compared to a server crash or a server overload. So the fundamental idea behind keeping data distributed is to make it more secure, easily available and accessible and also to avoid any single point of failure in the network. Got it? Great, see you in the next one.